my name is Rinka and today I'm going to run you through the use of microcontrollers to build a smart helmet. In our project, we are going to explore how we can make riding safer using the microbit, the growth shield and some of the attachable inputs and outputs such as light sensors and LED strip, as well as some of the features built into the microbit, for example, the accelerometer and the radio. To create and test the prototypes, I have used a variety of materials, from paper and cardboard to alfoil, wire and 3D printing. To create your smart helmets, you could use any of these materials or any other material you may have around the school. Bike riders face many challenges while riding on the busy city roads, including unexpected potholes and cars driving too closely when overtaking them. A simple computer like a microbit can improve rider safety by, for example, making them more visible at night or by allowing them to indicate their intentions to other road users. The idea behind the project is to ensure that the learning is relevant and practical. This task allows students to start with an authentic problem from their environment and design an innovative solution to the problem. Moreover, it provides opportunities for students to experiment and be creative. As with all design processes, I started the challenge by identifying the issue I wanted to tackle and brainstorming a number of solutions that centered around the use of microcontrollers. I then considered feasibility of each solution in terms of materials, costs and time before deciding on turning the smart helmet solution into a prototype. The smart helmet solution utilizes some of the sensors built into the micro bit, as well as some of the Grove Shield inputs and outputs. The helmet has been programmed using the if this than that approach, which allowed me to create a number of triggers and actions. Designing and making of the helmet was a bit of a trial and error process, starting with the cardboard and our foil models, and then using Tinkercad to create a helmet with built-in microbit and battery pack holders. As you can see, the models did not always work perfectly. So allowing time to play with the design is essential. Coding is another step of the project that does require time. I will show you how when creating my smart helmet, I utilized input from an accelerometer and an output from an LED strip to allow riders to indicate which way they are turning simply by tilting their head left or right. I will also show how this could be done utilizing the microbits Bluetooth radio function. First, let's look at the motion triggered lights. We can measure the motion on either the X, Y or Z axis using the built-in accelerometer sensor of the microbit. The accelerometer can be coded to trigger events like turning on all or some of the lights on the LED strip attached to the growth shield, which then enables the riders to indicate their intentions to other road users. Some riders might prefer to control the light manually using the buttons. In this case, you will need two microbit connected via radio so that the rider can use the A and B buttons on one microbit to control the LED lights on the helmet. This involves attaching one microbit with a battery pack using a holder and possibly Velcro strip to the bike rail while the other microbit sits in the growth shield on the helmet. The code will trigger the LED strip to turn one side of the helmet on when A button is pressed and the opposite side when B button is pressed. Lastly, night visibility is a big issue for the bike riders. The microbit has a built-in light sensor as well as an additional light sensor in the Grove kit. These can be coded to measure the amount of light in the environment and turn on the LED lights on the LED strip when the amount of light falls below a certain threshold. Here are some questions that might guide you in improving the design. What are some other sensors or built-in elements you could include in the design? For example, how could speakers be used? 
what are some other practical applications of the microbit elements and sensors that have been used in this project? And here are also a few handy tips. Because the smart helmet will incorporate different components, it is good practice to test each of them individually. The helmet can be redesigned so it incorporates many of the microbit pieces in its structure. Both the battery pack and microbit should be easily accessible, just in case a quick fix is needed. This project ties in well with the computer-aided design iSTEM curriculum content. I have made a number of iterations to my original design as I follow the seven-step iSTEM design process. If you would like to learn how to complete this activity, please jump on the STEM TFOIL library. Use the link tfoil.link forward slash STEM to learn more about microcontroller kits and learning challenges. Teachers, please share your projects on STEM.tfoil Yammer community or STEM.tfoil Facebook group. Hope you'll enjoy the project and you'll have fun building your smart helmet.